Welcome to this series of webinars and tutorials on the Zoltis product line of business phone systems. This video will show you how to use the basic features of our Zoltis Advanced Communicator application, otherwise known as ZAC. Unless specified, everything I'm showing here will work the same on Macintosh as on Windows. ZAC is constantly evolving, so your screen may not look exactly like mine as new features are added. So the first thing you want to do when you launch ZAC is enter your login information, so your login and password, the URL for the phone system server. You can check the box to remember your passwords. You don't have to enter that each time. And if you have a system enabled for Windows credentials, you can check that box. So I'm going to go ahead and click login. If you have any call groups that you can log into, you can see them here. So we call call groups roles. Uh, so this is a call group that I'm available for here. I'm not going to choose to log in, but if I did, I would simply check it and then click apply. Zach has a minimized mode, which is very compact and resembles our mobile application, and a maximized mode to take advantage of the larger screen of a desktop computer. To change between the two modes, you simply click these arrows in the upper left corner, and it switches from compact mode to maximized mode. And I can go back, so you can switch back and forth. To access some more features down at the bottom, you can click the More button, and you can see some additional features. So you can fully use the system in the minimized mode, but I'm going to go ahead and switch to the maximized mode. The icons move to the left. Change your binding or what device is controlled by Zach. You simply click here and you can either bind to the internal soft phone or you can enter a device ID and which is the MAC address of the phone or you can bind to recent. Once you bind a phone to Zach, it will remember that phone. You can switch back and forth by going to recent. So if I wanted to bind to the soft phone and not use a physical phone at all, I can just simply click here. And now I'm using the soft phone, the built-in soft phone of Zach. So in addition to being able to change the modes, when you click up here, you can set your presence. So you can set your presence here and you can type a note in here to give a message for other people around the company to know where you are and what you're doing. But you can go ahead and select this and then type a note here. This is the field where you can search for phone numbers or you can also just add a phone number here and then the enter key to dial it. If you are a member of call groups, that's what this icon is for, you can go here and access your call group functionality. Some settings that you might want to get to in the ellipsis menu here so you can get to about, gives you the version information and settings, and this is where you log off when you're finished using Zach. So a couple of settings that we might want to pay attention to early on, in addition to these settings that you might just want to experiment with, if you have Microsoft Outlook and you're on Windows, you can check these boxes. Outlook Contacts gives Zach the ability to access your Outlook Contacts, and Office Unified Communication gives Outlook and SharePoint Windows applications access to Zoltis phone system features. This integration is currently only available for Windows users, but we plan on adding that for Macintosh users later. Then a screen dial is here, and you can specify what control keys that you want to use for the screen dial feature. And then the audio devices, this is where you can set up microphones or speakers if you wanted to record your, your voicemails. So you can either use the system defaults or go here, you have a microphone plugged in, and I'm going to use the Plantronics uh, headset here. And now I'm able to record voicemails. Instead of using the phone, the physical phone, which you can still do, you'll be able to do that. And then in the soft phone feature, you may want to have some additional options. And again, here we can have the audio devices. So for received audio, you can use, you can specify your uh, headset. Uh, maybe you want to specify that for a ringtone for incoming calls, or just leave it at the computer speaker. And the same thing for the microphone. So you can specify the settings here when you're using the built-in soft phone. You can go ahead and click Apply. These other uh, call handling rules and voicemail notifications are described in other videos that we have here up, up here on our website. So I won't go into them now, but they work the same way as they do on Mixi. So I'm going to go ahead and just click Apply and click OK. When you first open Zach, it will go open to your buddy list. If you're an existing Mixi user, 
then buddies will show up that you've already set up in Mixie. To add new ones, uh, you can simply go to the contacts, and the contacts now will, the MX directory will be all of the phone numbers that are on the phone system. To add one, you simply go ahead and click here. I'll click on D, and then to add, click in the yellow star, make that a solid star, and it will now add that to the buddy list. And I can do the same thing with, I'll do this with Anna as well. And if you notice here, I can do a few things. I can just click here, and I'm now making a phone call. Now we go back, we have our buddies here. So buddies and Zach is going to be phone system buddies, and my contacts will be other contacts that you might want to add. Um, and to add another contact, you can simply click add a contact and enter the field information here for the, the record that you want. You can also do this from uh, the contacts icon. So if you have Outlook and you've turned on the uh, Outlook integration, then you click Outlook here, you have access to your Outlook contacts, and the same thing. You'll be able to uh, click on them, click on the star to add them. The recents, this is your call log, so calls and instant messages. So if you select all, you're going to see all of the calls and instant messages. If you just click on calls, it'll be your call log, and messages will be the instant message history. And for example, if I wanted to uh, do an instant message with D here, I can simply click here, type in the information, and then you can instant message back and forth with the people in your in the phone system. To access voicemail. You can access voicemail, your inbox, and call recordings, the on-demand call recordings. You can go here to the gear to record your name. So to record your name, which is currently not recorded here, you'd use the uh, headset, and you just click the record icon here, and then you would record your name. And then you can record the greetings. You can record up, pre-record up to four different greetings uh, just using this interface. You can also do the recordings on the physical phones. But if you have a good quality microphone, you want to use your computer, this is a really easy way to do that. So you would just record this, play the, you know, say your name, click this. You can listen to it if you want. Once you're happy with it, you go ahead and, and click OK. So that's setting up your voicemail. Park list here. So if there are any parked calls in the system, they'll be able to see those and be able to retrieve them. Uh, we can access instant message groups. Uh, other systems, uh, this would be known as chat rooms, but they're full feature chat rooms. You can have either public or private groups, and you can create a group just by going here. You can add different people to this group. You can make it private or public, and we'll create the group. So that's creating a private group. Then you can go and join a group if other people have created a different group. You can see electronic faxes coming in here. So faxes would come in. You'd see incoming faxes in your inbox and outgoing faxes in your sent box. And any audio conferences can be set up here. You can do a schedule a conference just by clicking this. You can make it a one-time only or ongoing conference. If it's a one-time only, you can specify the date and the time and the duration. If you have our MX meeting product, you can schedule MX meeting, either the interactive or seminar version of this. And you can go ahead and either click save or save an invite, which will send a, create an email invitation for that. I'm going to go ahead and just click Save. So now this is a saved meeting in the system. When it's time to actually start this meeting, we simply click on it, and we click the Start button. If you wanted to edit the parameters, you can just go ahead and click Edit here, and you can change any of these parameters. 
to do an ad hoc web meeting using MX Meeting. You simply click Web Conference here, and it would add the uh, it would start the MX conference. So let's go back to the buddy list here, and again, you can leave this uh, breadcrumbs here for the history, or we can just clean it up. If I wanted to call D, I can simply click D and then call that number. And that's making a phone call. So while we're on a call, we can uh, we can mute the call. When you're using soft phone, you'll use these icons here for muting call and the keypad. When you're using bound to a physical phone, you'll use the uh, buttons on the physical phone. But we can add a call uh, to conference and we can transfer a call. We can put the call on hold or we can park the call. So if I were to park this call now, call is parked. I can go here to the park list and I can see the list of parked calls. And I can go ahead and pick it up. Now an incoming call will look like this. So we'll see the incoming call. We'll get a pop-up here so we can answer it. We can decline it. If we want to choose to just uh, send it to voicemail, we can do that. Uh, or we can just answer the call here by picking this up. Or if you have a physical phone, you can just pick that up too. So that's receiving a call using Zach. If I wanted to transfer this call to someone, we can do it a couple of different ways. Uh, I can click the transfer button here, go down to the list and, and click here to transfer the call to Anna. Or we can do drag and drop by just taking this here, going back to if I have Anna in my buddy list, and then I can drag and drop onto here. You can see as you drop uh, mouse over this, you can just let go here and it will transfer. All right, so now if I wanted to call um, call Anna, so I can go ahead and click call here. So I'm now calling Anna. Anna answers the phone and say, hey, let me conference in D. Say I wanted to conference call somebody else in. I can go back to my buddy list here. And let's call D and simply call D here. Now I could transfer the call. We have these call appearances up here. I could transfer the call by clicking on the ellipsis, and I could transfer the call to D. I could create a conference call, or I can do this with um, we'll create a conference call, add D to the conference call, and here I've made a conference call. So you, you can this is showing how to do both a supervised transfer and also an ad hoc audio conference call. And then once you're on the conference call, you can go here. You see this converted to a conference. You can click on the ellipsis here, and you can see the list of participants. So we can see who's on the call, and we can mute them, or we can disconnect them individually. So you can do that right from the Zach interface. And when the conference is all over, you can just go ahead and disconnect the conference, and it hangs everybody up. And then to quit Zach, when you're all done, just click here and click exit. This completes the Zach Quick Start tutorial. You should now be able to use the most common features of Zach. Please see the other tutorials for additional features and capabilities of our system. Thank you for watching.